there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with a bit of an updated list for the Painter Servants brews that I've been playing around with. This one will probably go up on Gathering Magic as well since I'm sure I won't have time to do a video series for the Rogue Deck Builder um, with all I have going on this weekend. So I'm not going to be able to play some games with this, leaving actually tomorrow morning uh, up for state swimming, which is the good news. I will be done with my coaching job for this year and have a lot more time to dedicate for the YouTube channel and the magic community and whatnot. So I'm actually going to post a schedule. I'm going to try to do a lot of content per week and actually try to go uh, a lot more focused again on 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 trying to make this work as maybe, maybe even a full-time thing if we can get enough support going for uh, between the store for Rogue Deck, Gone Rogue Games and the YouTube channel. So anyway, this is going to be Tesa Chord which I'm very excited to actually brew with. Uh, I've played one game. I'm at actually 0-1 right now in the league. Did match up against the red-blue Eldrazi and just got completely spanked. I'll just put it that way. Even I did Painter's Servant lock in one game, and then the other game I got Painted Servers out. He dismembered it and was able just to, to puke out his entire hand on one turn. So uh, after playing a, a, a bit more against the Eldrazi decks, I, I do think that something needs to happen. Again, I'm not calling for an emergency ban. I'm, I'm just hoping that they let us have our fun with Eldrazi and then ban it just on a regular schedule. And I hope they really, 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 really look at what would be the minimal uh, damage they needed to do to Eldrazi to try to keep the archetype alive because I think it's an interesting enough brew. But a lot of the pros are saying that, you know, of course, eight ancient tombs in... Uh, one deck in modern is is way too much and that just something needs to happen we still haven't seen a lot of innovation to try to combat it but i i can tell you from experience now i've tried multiple different angles on combating the uh, eldrazi deck and snaring bridge doesn't work that well ghostly prison all of these things actually don't do the greatest job of racing thought not seer as well as they do most eldrazi decks are very complete decks what i mean by that is they do run ways to trump your trumps so uh, ratchet bomb is a, a kind of one one size fits all answer to a lot of like the enchantment or artifacts uh, that can prevent you from attacking like ghostly prisoner and snaring bridge and then pything needle relic of virginitus uh, we have dismember they, they basically do some of our even being more proactive with like thought seizes and things like that they, they have ways to still win through those type of decks, or in this case, like with this, with the Painter Servant lock with them, they have Dismember to take care of it. And it was, there was one game, I might just show the replays where I had Painter Servant out on, actually had uh, Fulminar Mage out on turn two, which is here in the sideboard, destroying their Eye of Ugin, which they already had casted, since I was going first, they already had cast an Endless One on two, or a Mimic on two or something, so they actually had something out. And then I was able to get the painter servant out on turn number three and kind of lock him out from if they, he dropped another. And he did. He dropped the temple. And it was at that point I'd already used a lot of resources between Fulminar Mage, Painted Servant, a Birds of Paradise. And I, I think I was top decking into a lot of lands. Cause I had to, you have to, to mulligan aggressively versus the Eldrazi deck. And I think we dirtled for a couple turns. And he found the dismember for the painter servant. And within that term, he dropped another Ivugan. And no joke, spit out everything in his entire deck and just overwhelmed me with the Thought Not Seers and Reality Smashers and whatnot. So this is still a very interesting deck. I am still a believer if you haven't seen the video for Gathering Magic this week. I made a Painter Servant in an Artificer Tribal and really in love with the deck. Go Definitely go and see that even though we did not perform very well. I thought it's a, a very interesting deck, and with uh, some fine-tuning, I think that the deck is going to be pretty sweet. This is going to be Painter Servant hooked up with Tesa Orzov Sign. Painter Servant wants to be in a deck where it also gets value, besides just kind of acting as a, a card that is slowing down the Eldrazi deck. So in this case, Painted Servant and Tesa Orzov Scion work wonderfully together. It's actually one of the reasons why Painter Servant is banned in Commander, because it creates a very easy scenario for like your if Tesa or Zoff Sign is your commander, you can go infinite with naming black as the creature type that every creature is in addition to their types. And basically it says whenever a black creature control dies, put a one white spirit creature token. So if you have a sack outlet with Tesa and Painted Servant out, you can basically make infinite black creatures. So in this case we have Viserysir 
and multiple other things like Blood Artist. So Viserys here, Blood Artist, will create an infinite loop with Taysen, Pain, or Servant. Yeah, that is a four-piece combo, but you can just get a lot of value out of Taysen. In fact, if you get enough of the, if you get enough white creatures, like enough spirits, to have the three to sacrifice white creatures to exile a creature, you can indefinitely exile every creature that your opponent puts out because when you sacrifice those three white creatures, then three black creatures come back because they are white black creatures, and then you can just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over. So that's kind of nice. Also, if you have double painted servant, one of them you can name white and create that kind of loop. Again, this probably needs tuning. I just threw literally threw this in. The Kiki Cord, or not Kiki Cord, uh, the Malira Cord or Abzan Cord uh, decks, the Abzan Company decks that have been going around. So the four collected companies, four quarter colonies help us find the combos. And literally, this is almost copy and paste from the like Eternal Witnesses Wall of Roots. Wall of Roots doesn't work nearly as good without Anafenza, as Anafenza can put counters on the Wall of Roots and you can keep activating it, but it's still good. I, I, the double white was kind of hard in this deck, so I took it out for that reason. But you, you can see a very similar list to this in a lot of the abs and cord lists. Um, you did have to make room for the Tesas. That's where I cut the Kitchen Finks and one Anafenza, and then that allows for the room for the Painter Servant and the Tesa. I think we're missing out on a few other like uh, one-ofs in the deck, like Orzov Pontus pushed the sideboard, no scavenging ooze in the main board. A lot of it just pushed over. Sideboard is very, very flexible. I thought I'd also try a Sabra, Queen of the Golgari. So spoiler alert for upcoming um, videos. Every Saturday, I'm going to try to do a commander video. Tesa Orzov Sign is by far my favorite commander deck ever. Uh, it is my go-to commander deck when I want a really competitive commander deck it just in, in commander in a multiplayer setting it's just a very versatile commander it has answers for combo decks answers for aggressive decks and i just i just love it in commander so i was very excited to actually have tesa in modern as she was my very first commander ever and is still my go-to commander and i've just always really really liked her ability with being able to sacrifice white creatures and then getting back uh white creatures when a black creature dies speaking of another card that I love as a commander that I thought I just put in, at least in the sideboard, is, is Sabra, Queen of the Golgari. So these are just kind of flavor cards that, that I have in here. I'm, I'm sure there's a more tuned way to build this, but Sabra, I think, can you, you can lock down as well. It's, it works with Painter Servant because you can name everything as black again, and whenever you sacrifice a black creature, you may pay two life. You do each other player sacks a creature. So it, it's very, very good with Viserys here, Painter Servant, locking it down. Uh, we also have a Trostani, which goes nicely in the combo with, with Tesa and Painter Servant and a Sack Outlet, of course, is infinite life because you can just keep sacrificing and scrying with the, the tokens and gaining one life each time you do it. Devout Lightcaster, again, I, this is one I wanted to test with Painter Servant because you're naming black. You can actually exile lands with a Devout Lightcaster, so I actually think Painter Servant might be kind of cool in like a flicker-based deck using cards like Devout Lightcaster or another. I'm sure there's other cards that exist like this, that you're Exile Black or Red, or and you're in green. I think there might even be something that that can take down blue cards or, or other black. And yeah, then blue, you have red. And black, you have things that do stuff against white. So I'm thinking that Painted Servant can be in those shells. Sin Collector, Fulminir Mage. These are just typical Tidal or Skuller, Scavenging Ooze, Kozali Pride Mage, uh, Brenton Forge Tender. This one's actually really interesting with Painted Servant. Again, you could name Red. I, I highly doubt you'd do that, though. So, anyway, that's just the gist of the deck. It, it worked out pretty well. I did assemble the combo on one of the wins off of a collected company. A collected company found a taste in a Viserys here with Painter Servant already out. And I just needed, basically, I think I had a Birds of Paradise already out. So I, I created the basically infinite scries to then find a Kitchen Phoenix or a Murderous Red Cap for the next turn. And just it's a solid deck just with the Eternal Witnesses finding either you... you you cast Eternal Witness, or Collected Company, find Eternal Witness, you can get Collected Company back. And same thing with Court of Calling for three. You can get Eternal Witness and get Court of Calling back. So, uh, wait, no, you shuffle this in the library. At least you can get stuff back from the graveyard, though. So it's a very, very good combo. Oh, no, no, that's Green Sun Zenith that you shuffle in the library. Why am I thinking Cord does that? So, yeah, search, search your library for a creature card and confirm that cost XLS, put it in the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Court of Calling goes to the graveyard, Eternal Witness gets it back. Rinse and repeat to find more of the combo pieces. So I'm not going to play any games again. I'll be gone for state swimming for a couple of days. Just wanted to get ahead of what I'm working on this week. 
I also want to try Painter Servant with Dramatic Entrance, which is a card that says you can you can play you instant speed. You may put a green creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. In, a, instant speed is huge with that. So I'm I'm hoping I can somehow get Painter Servant and Emrakul to work. And we also have a way to tutor up Emrakul with like Primal Command and a few other tutors that can do it. So. I'll try to show a video series of this, but I don't know when I'll get to it. For now, here's the deck list. This has been Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.